This is Sal Paniagua with CII's communication studio on some tips for filming videos using your smartphone, tablet, or laptop. We'll go over composition, lighting, sound, your delivery as a presenter, and file sharing. In this video, I'll present some common mistakes to avoid and best practices to follow. When using your iPad or iPhone to film videos, shoot in the landscape orientation since your audience might be watching your videos on a television or computer screen. Avoid putting your subject's face at the center of the screen. The golden rule of photography composition suggests that if you split your screen into three, placing your subject at the point where the lines intersect produces the most pleasing images. This idea dates back to the master painters and holds true with today's digital images. Try to avoid placing your phone with the lens far below your eye level. The image is more pleasing if the camera lens is slightly below or at eye level. Try to use a background with depth that is not distracting. For lighting, keep in mind where the light source is coming from. Stay away from filming directly underneath the ceiling lights as they can create unflattering shadows on a person's face. Try not to film into a window as that will put the subject in silhouette. Look for spaces where the subject has the most even light on their face. If you want to film outside, you want to take into effect managing sound and what kind of light is falling on the face of the subject. You have to keep in mind that you might get cars passing by, airplanes, helicopters, and even birds can be very distracting. As long as you're extra mindful of lighting and sound, you should be able to film outside. When filming yourself, it's easy to want to write out your content and read it from a cue card. Unfortunately, the audience will see your eyes moving as you read. Moreover, it will create a stilted performance. It's best to think of the camera as if you were talking to a friend. You want to come across in a conversational tone. A good way to do this is to come up with bullet points on the things that you want to talk about. And then if you need to refer to them from time to time, you can look down at those bullet points, but you continue talking to the screen uh, in a conversational manner. After you've shot your video and saved it on your iPad, open your favorite web browser and go to wetransfer.com. There is no need to create an account. Click on the blue button in the middle of the screen that says send a file. Click on the plus sign. Click on photo library. Select videos. Click on the video files you want to share. Click on the done button in the upper right hand corner. Add more files if you need to, or if you're done, click on the next button. Click on the send an email button. Enter my email of espaniagua at childrensinstitute.org and type in your address in the Your Email line. Then click on the blue button that says Transfer. Check your email where you'll receive a verification code that you'll enter into the verification code line. And then the files will upload and then you're done. Feel free to ask me any questions. Thank you.